Thanks for the introduction. I'm Xin Huang from Cornell Tech. Today I'm going to talk about our paper on style transfer. This is a joint work with my PhD advisor, Serge Brownji. Style transfer is an important task of image editing and has wide applications. Given a style and a content image, our goal is to synthesize an output image that has the high level structure of the content while sharing the same artistic style as the style image. The history of style transfer can date, date back to more than 15 years ago. Some earliest works include the image analogy algorithm by Hertzmatter and the image quality algorithm by Afros and Freeman. Recently, Gatis et al. proposed the first neural algorithm on style transfer. It has reignited the interest in this field and also inspired many follow-up works on using neural networks to perform style transfer. Previous neural style transfer methods can be roughly categorized into two categories. The first one include a uh, Gatis original algorithm, and their core idea is to use the VGG network to extract a content and style loss. The content and style loss can effectively encode the two objectives of content and style similarity. They then use an iterative optimization to find an output image that can simultaneously minimize the two loss functions. This method is quite flexible and can transfer arbitrarily given styles. However, it is very slow due to the expensive iterative optimization. For example, the Gatis algorithm can take minutes to run even with modern GPUs. It's therefore impossible to apply this type of method in real time or mobile applications. The second type of method aims at speeding up style transfer. It basically replaces the slow optimization with a fast feed forward network. The network is trained to minimize the same loss function but it's much faster than the optimization process. Once the network is trained, it can perform style transfer very efficiently with a single forward pass. This method brings, brings huge improvement in speed. However, it sacrifices flexibility because the network is restricted to the particular style it's trained on. For example, this network can only transfer everything to the style of the screen. If you want the starry night style, you have to try another different network. So the existing two types of methods cannot achieve efficiency and flexibility at the same time. The goal of this paper is to combine the best of both worlds. We want a style transfer algorithm that is both fast enough for real-time applications and flexible enough to transfer arbitrary styles. The general idea is to take both content and style as input to the feed-forward network, instead of owning the content image as previous works did. We hope our network can extract the style characteristics from the style input and efficiently apply it to the content image. Here, I will explain our model architecture. We first use a VGG encoder to encode content and style images. We then align the mean and variance of the content features to the style features. We call this operation adaptive instance normalization, or ADA-IN. The equation is shown in the bottom left. Here, x is the content features, y is the style features, and mu and sigma represent the mean and variance in channel-wise. It is motivated by a previous study that shows feature mean and variance contain style information. By matching the mean and variance to the style features, other in can effectively and efficiently match their styles. Also, other in is very similar to the instance normalization, 
which shows good performance for single style transfer. Instance norm transforms the input to a fixed mean and variance, represented as beta and gamma. As a result, it can only capture a single style. On the other hand, our other in normalizes the input to the mean and variance of a given style input, therefore enables arbitrary style transfer. Finally, a decoder is used to invert the output of other in to the pixel space, and we compute a content and style loss to train the decoder. We use two data sets in our experiment, Microsoft Coco for content images and Panther by Numbers for style images. Each data set contains roughly 80,000 training images. We train our network on content and style pairs randomly picked from each data set. At test time, we evaluate our model on noble styles. Here, we show some example results produced by our algorithm. Each column is from the same content, and each row shares the same style. As you can see, the images are of high quality, even though these styles are never observed by our network. We additionally show an example of our style transfer applied to videos. The video is processed in 20 frames per second. And again, our network has never seen this style during training. Here, we show a comparison between different style transfer approaches in terms of speed and flexibility. Our method is much faster than other methods that can transfer arbitrary styles. For example, it is more than 700 times faster than the Gatiss original algorithm and about 50 times faster than the recent algorithm by Chen and Schumann. Compared with Aoyanov et al. and Dumoulin et al., our algorithm has a comparable speed. However, we can transfer arbitrary styles using a single network, while their network is limited to a finite set of styles. A natural question is, instead of using other in, can we simply concatenate the style and content features and feed them to the decoder? We actually tried that, and the results are not satisfactory. With concatenation, the decoder is not able to disentangle style from content. As you can see, the output image still contains the content structure of the style image. With other in, the decoder only extracts the style and ignores the spatial arrangement of the style image, which leads to much better results. In summary, we propose the first algorithm that can transfer arbitrary styles in real time. We use an other in layer to perform style transfer in the feature space, then invert the features back to the image with a decoder. I will present our poster tomorrow morning, 8.30 to 10.30. Uh, the post ID is one. Please drop by if you have any questions or just want to more, know more details about our work. And lastly, we have released the code and pre-trained models on GitHub. And we welcome everybody to try our model with your favorite images and see how it works. Thanks for your attention. We have time for a question. Please come to the microphone. Uh, hi, uh, really great work. Uh, I just have one minor question. In the video that you showed when you did the style transfer, uh, they see, they seem to be some kind of uh, what I would call artifacts uh, on the video, the reproduced video. Did you try some kind of temporal smoothing or is it because of the style that is appearing there? Uh, no, so here we process the video frame by frame. So uh, if we use some temporal smoothing method, the results might be improved. Okay, thank you.